Good morning, everyone. How you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny Sunday morning. It's a little bit cold, but I've left the uh, jacket in the car. Look at, look at this view behind me, look. Now I'm in a little town. Uh, well, just, I'm just outside Petworth, it, um, which I suppose the easy way to describe it is near Chichester. It's not too far away from Chichester. But it's a beautiful, peaceful Sunday morning. And of course, today, I am here to come and see the grave, the headstone of June Whitfield. Very, very funny lady. Anyway, first of all, I'd like you to, uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel if you're happy to do so. If you've liked the video so far, tick the old subscribe button, hit the like, hit the thumbs up if you like this video or my other videos. And of course, um, there's a little bell on there, notification bell. I haven't mentioned it before in my other videos because I thought you guys would know about it. But what it does is it just notifies you when I put a new video on. Nice straightforward really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, if you can do all those three, fantastic. Right, let's get going, shall we? Dame June Rosemary Whitfield, DBE. Born the 11th of November, 1925 and died on 29th of December, 2018. Now she was an English radio and television and film actress. Her big break was a lead in the radio comedy, Take It From Here, which aired in the BBC Light programmes in 1953. Television roles soon followed, including appearances with Tony Hancock. In 1966, Whitfield played the leading role in the television sitcom, Beggar My Neighbour, which ran for three series. She also appeared in four Carry On films, Carry On Nurse, Carry On Abroad, Carry On Girls and Carry On Columbus which was a rubbish one. In 1968, <laughs> Whitfield and Terry Scott began a long television partnership, uh, which peaked with roles as husband and wife in Happy Ever After and Terry in June. Now, from 1992 to 2012, Whitfield played Adnina Monsoon's mother in, in Jennifer Saunders' Absolutely Fabulous. She played a regular character in Last of the Summer Wine between 2005 and 2010 and a recurring character in The Green Green Grass, 2007 to 2009. Now, from 93 to 2001, Whitfield played Miss Marple in the radio dramatisation of all 12 Agatha Christie's Miss Marple novels on BBC Radio 4. In 1951, she had her first credited television role in The Passing Show and joined the London cast of the musical South Pacific. Her big break came in 1953 when she replaced Joy Nichols in the successful Frank Moore and Dennis Norden radio comedy, Take It From Here. In 1959, she appeared in Carry On Nurse, the first of her four appearances in the Carry On films. In the 60s to 80s, the year after Beggar My Neighbour finished, in 1968, she appeared on Scott, Scott On, I think it was called, for six years until 1974. And this started a working relationship with Terry Scott that lasted until 1987. During Scott On, she also appeared in The Best Things in Life, The Goodies, The Dick Emery Show, Bless This House and The Palaces. She appeared in the spin-off film Bless This House with Scott and her as her husband, of course, and Carry On Abroad, followed by an appearance in Carry On Girls. Now, both Scott and Whitfield starred as the suburban, as I said earlier on, middle-class couple, Terry and June. Now, this ran for 65 episodes until 1987. And during that eight-year run of Terry and June, Whitfield also appeared in It Ain't Half Hot Mum and Minder. Two crows having a fight. In the early 70s and uh, the early 80s, Whitfield appeared in a series of television advertisements created by Captain Birdseye. Fishy fingers. She was the subject of This Is Your Life on two occasions in April 1976 uh, when she was surprised by Eamon Andrews at her home in Wimbledon and in March 1995 when Michael Aspel surprised her at BBC Television Centre. Having appeared in an episode of French and Saunders in 1988, Whitfield played mother in Jennifer Saunders' sitcom Absolutely Fabulous from 1992 until 2012. In 2000, she featured with the rest of the Absolutely Fabulous cast in the pilot Mirable. Um, from 1993 to 2001, she played Miss Marple in 12 radio adaptations of Agatha Christie's Miss Marple books. From 1990, she appeared in films including Carry On Columbus, Jude and Ferreris as the voice of Miss Coombs. And in 1998, Whitfield played the housekeeper in the London set episode of Friends in one with Ross's Weddings Part 2. Great one. And she also voiced a character in an episode of the animated comedy series Rex the Runt. Been a very busy lady. Now, in 1955, she married Timothy John Aitchinson, who was working as a surveyor. The couple had a daughter, Susie Aitchinson, born on the 4th of June, and she also became an actress, but Timothy sadly died in 2001. 
Despite her success, Whitfield never wanted a lead role, stating that she lacked the drive and the confidence. She attributed this to, to the premature deaths of several comedians that she knew in the past, the responsibility, the stress and the strain of carrying their shows. And she wrote this in her autobiography. She described her own life full of love, affection, laughter, gigs and gags, and a couple of gongs. In December 2017, Whitfield said that she was living in a care home she sadly died in London on the 29th of December 2018, aged 93. Her funeral was attended by many of her co-stars and personal friends. Fellow absolutely fabulous actress Jennifer Saunders paid tribute to the extraordinary grace of Whitfield and said she would hugely miss her dear friend. Actress Jane Horrocks said that her former co-star was a wonderful lady who was very versatile and funny and generous. I think we should find the grave now. I've given you enough information, haven't I? Let's go and have a look. This is always the fun bit for you guys, where you can just sit there and take the mickey out of me while I'm looking. I just end up looking like a tortoise that's uh, confused, which isn't hard to be honest with you. If I trip up over the, um, over the grass, I promise I'll keep it in for you guys as well, okay? so you can really go to town on me. Um, bum, 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 bum. Come on, Dame June, where are we? Ooh, there's a big bumblebee. I give up on myself sometimes. And I'll tell you why, because I didn't think, did I? I was looking for her, her stage name. It hasn't got a stage name. Well, I don't know if it's a maiden name, actually. I should look into that. Um, married name. I think I found it. Shall I start some t-shirts with, I think I found it on there. <laughs> you don't want a picture of me on there, but just a finger again, I think I found it. Anyway, let's go and have a look. So I was near the start here earlier on, and I don't know if you can see straight in front of us there. Timothy John Aitchinson, 19th of July, 1928 to the 14th of February, 2001, and June Rosemary Aitchinson, 11th of November, 1925 to 29th December 2018. Dearest Tim and June, together again. Lovely, beautiful little place. Just so peaceful and quiet. So there we have it. June Rosemary Aitchinson, June Whitfield as we all knew her television and stage name massive star massive star um, and again a beautiful little humble grave with her, her husband thank you for the comedy moments June thanks for uh, giving us all a good laugh over the years especially sort of I suppose for the younger generation things like absolutely fabulous I mean, me, 50-year-old me, you know, old man. Um, I remember growing up with Terry and June, and that was just so funny. It was great. In its time, it was good comedy, you know. Um, but the, the younger generation will probably know June Whitfield more from her role in Absolutely Fabulous. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. If you like the video give it a girl thumbs up and um, leave me a message down below what's your fondest memories of June Whitfield do you remember like I say she was in four carry-on films do you remember in some of those um, Terry and June Terry and June is brilliant and uh, or were you a more sort of up-to-date fan did you like her in um, Absolutely fabulous. Whatever she's done, she's done really well. She's a, 
She's a great actress, but funny as well. Comedy timing was brilliant. Anyway, I shall uh, leave it here in this beautiful little, look at that little part, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And um, yeah, see you on the next one. Take it easy.